What's up my fellow fitness freaks and welcome to another workout. Um, today we're going to work a little bit on hip opening um, to prepare for the stretches, the middle splits. Maybe you're going to try to get into a middle split in the end. Let's see. We're going to start with a frog pose, right? In a frog pose or frog stretch, we try to create a straight line from knee to knee over our hips, right? So ideally all of that would be on the floor. I know, I know it's not that easy and it's totally fine if you're not all the way down. Let's just attempt to do that. So what we're doing here, we come into a tabletop position more or less, 90 degree angle at our knees. And then we slide those legs out here, right? You slide them out like that, right? And you try to get your hips closer to the mat. And mine are pretty high up still, but well, I hope at the end of the video we'll be uh, further down. So now let's do some frog rocks here. So we're moving back and forth, back and forth. Kind of changing that 90 degree angle at the knees here, right? <laughs> and back and forth. If you can, Maybe for the moment, rest your, um, rest your torso on the mat, on the yoga mat, on the floor, wherever. Shake it a little bit to get further down. I know it's not easy. And now bring those feet in and come back up onto your forearms. And again, we're doing frog rocks here, rocking back and forth while our feet are further in. Try to open up those hips even more, right? And out with these feet again. Torso on the mat again, if you can. And now I want you to roll your legs up, right? to roll your legs up, but the movement comes from the hip socket, right? So the shape of your leg is not changing. You're not using the knees to do that. You're on your knees. Yeah, that is true. But you're moving up from the hip socket, rotating the legs up and up. And three more and two and one down back in here with the feet. And now higher up onto your hands, onto your hands, right? And try to still push back here. <sighs> Pushing back. Right, I'm gonna show you from the other side for a moment, right? So, as you can see, I'm not like completely open here, right? Not completely open, right? And I'm moving back and forth. Right, slightly back and forth here in order to open those hips more to get further into that frog stretch, right? This is what you do. So, keep pushing a few seconds more and then back onto your forearms and out again here with a 90 degree angle at your knees and push down, bounce a little bit, right? Bouncing down, opening up here and down with your torso. And now let's just stay here for a moment, right? And back in, come up, give those legs a teeny, teeny, tiny little rest, right? Move your legs from side to side here. And then come into a butterfly position here where we bring the soles of your feet together, hands around those feet, shoulders back, straight back and push those legs down, right? Push them down. Flapping them like wings. Bop, bop, bop. Maybe you're gonna fly. No. A little bit longer. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. 
Keep pushing them down and then stop. Okay. Now, 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 now. You're gonna get into a straddle position here, right? Doesn't have to be the uh, biggest straddle, right? Doesn't have to be, I don't know, 180 degrees. Would be cool if it was, but doesn't have to be. Then you have your hands behind your bum and you're pushing to the front with a straight back here, right? With a straight back. And if this is easy with a straight back, then you can bring your hands to the front and push up and down here in front with that straight back. And down, and down. Oh yes, very nice, very nice. And then stay at your lowest point. You always want to lead with your chest, never with your head, right? Uh, and move a bit back and forth. Maybe you can bring your arms out like this for a moment. <sighs> Feels so nice in my inner thighs. And I'm gonna flip it around so you can see that from the other side, right? <laughs> so here we are. Hi. <laughs> Legs out legs up and then you want to first of all push to the front here right with your hands behind your bum right all of that again if this is easy hands to the front and up and down rolling back and forth getting closer to the floor here with each move ideally at some point you might not get further down um, because you know they're flexible then just stay there bounce and if you can chest to the mat <sighs> oh nice and up let's try to get a little bit into the middle splits now i think we can attempt to do that slightly i probably won't get in there or i'm very probably will not i don't i cannot do like a full middle split but i'm getting closer right so you want i want you to come up onto your hands here right onto your hands but in front and then open bounce maybe more to the front like in a frog position Right, like a frog stretch, but with your legs wide. Oof. Uh, and back. Whew. Gonna do that again. I have to do that more often, right? I don't do that often enough. To the front, and open a frog stretch, and wide. And up. Legs in. If your inner thighs feel like jelly, this is totally, totally normal. Move them from side to side here. And we are going to attempt to get into the middle splits one last time and then we're already done, right? So uh, stay with me. Let's do this, or let's not do it. I mean, I'm not gonna get into the middle splits, but let's try it, let's try it nevertheless. So, legs wide, as wide as you can. Then you come onto those hands, you come up and you lift the bum up and you try to get into that frog stretch with your legs straight. Oh, ah. And back. Whew. Nice. And that was it for today. I hope you did like it. I hope the mic was okay because sometimes it makes weird noises with that cute little body. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you on the next one. Ta-da! <laughs>